Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, we are going to see all the information about mobile application development. How, what are the roadways, how you can get started it, what are the pay scale, how you can uh, start as a fresher and uh, what would be the journey and the roadmap, everything about mobile application development. Let's look up in this video. So you might be wondering why these guys are suggesting us. So I just uh, graduated from a college and I was a topper of my branch and I am working at uh, SD1 at uh, Make My Trip. So I can easily guide you and I know a lot of information about uh, mobile application development because I work as, as uh, iOS development in Make My Trip. So let's look out uh, like how you can get uh, started. So let's understand what are like uh, different uh, operating systems in a mobile application development and what are the development thing. So first thing come there is a uh, iOS. So in iOS, you can uh, just go into the iOS development and here uh, the programming language would be a Swift. So you just need to learn a uh, Swift and then uh, Swift is a basic of a uh, language in which uh, you'll be writing most of code. But just to make a UI and uh, interface and like uh, designs and everything, you'd be using a framework. Uh, means it's uh, like uh, just integrate part of it. So that is a Swift UI and UI kit. Swift UI is uh, like a uh, new offer tech, uh, like framework which was launched in around 2018, and UI kit is like a way older of a language and that framework which is a uh, widely used and most of companies have been using UI kit. Now slowly slowly the companies have also started to move and migrate on uh, Swift UI. So let's see how you need to start. So this was about like iOS development. So my suggestion would be you just uh, learn basic of uh, Swift and then you can uh, just go into the Swift UI. And if the requirement or uh, like if you need to make any of a project or like you need to learn, then you can just go and learn a UI kit. That's the simple, no need to know that I must think. And you might be wondering what will be the roadmap of iOS development. I'll make I will be making a dedicated video and uh, explaining and uh, like how you need to get started. What are the resources? And what are the roadmap? Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, you'll be missing out that information. Similarly, I will be bringing for Android also. And one more thing that is a hybrid. What is a hybrid? Will be uh, like uh, looking in the video. So make sure that you watch the video till end. Now, let's move towards the uh, Android side. So in Android side also, like uh, there has been a language. Uh, there is a Java and Kotlin. Kotlin, like uh, now, like uh, slowly, slowly, it has been uh, started to use widely. Initially, the Java was used. So similarly, like you, if you have like interest in a Java or like uh, any one of a language, my suggestion would be go with Kotlin, or else uh, you can just learn with uh, Java, and then you can learn in future Kotlin also. It depends on your complete personal preference. But I'll be sharing the roadmap. In that, we'll be. Uh, understand like what are the pros of uh, learning java and uh, what are the pros of a uh, kotlin and what are the cons of uh, both side. so we we'll learn into it that is all about like ios and android development one more thing comes that is a hybrid which is a uh, ios plus uh, android so here like uh, android mostly like in major of a company they are using that is a react native so if any of a feature is going to be uh, built so you just need to write a similar code in uh, ios and similar code in android and then like uh if there is a not a bandwidth or like uh if there are less uh, like person then you need to have a lengthy of a development process so react native you just need to write a once code and uh, it will be used by both uh, android also and i also and uh yeah like a uh, natively like you need to handle few of our uh, like core logics and everything but this uh few of our uh, minutes of time would be required rest like everything would be handled in react native so no need to worry and it looks exactly same in both of our device so it's a great but you might be wondering that uh, there is also one technology called Flutter. So Flutter, what happened? Like Flutter was initially used, but uh, due to like uh, uh, decline in market share of uh, Flutter and like not widely used. Now like storage uh, company are not using Flutter. They are mostly using a React Native because they're of a dependency and like uh, libraries and everything are being easily available. So major of our like uh, projects are many of our projects like some are built uh, natively and some of our projects are built hybridly and then integrated into ios uh, app or some android app so that's about hybrid now what would be the roadmap roadmap i'll be sharing you in upcoming video so make sure that you subscribe to the channel now what are the pay scale would be starting for this uh, ios development android development or else uh, react native developer so it depends on a company to company and uh, what are like uh, development like they are paying it mostly like it's just a minimum salary like you can just start with uh, like uh, 25k to like it can go up to two lakhs per month and uh, what i am earning it i have already living it in uh, one of my videos so i just got place that's a video in that uh, like you can get like uh, idea that what i am uh, making it as a ios developer in make my trip so you can just get and uh, check it out that if you wanted to see 
uh, you can also check out few of our like uh, interesting gadgets and uh, like my suggestions of book it's there in our video description you can go and check it out that's an amazing book you should give it a try and uh, read it out highly recommend it for you because reading book and uh, that also it's a separate habit i'll be making it separate video and understand means i will explain to you now how does the college students uh, get uh, started into this mobile application development so to start into mobile application development and if you wanted to go towards ios side, basic of a requirement is that, that you need to have mac then you can just go because to run the ios development software xcode you need a mac so if you have mac you can just go with the ios development android development or react native similarly if you have mac uh, windows then you can just go into like uh, android development and uh, react native android side you won't able to go towards ios side because like for ios uh, to run you need a xcode simulator and means a uh, uh, simulator you would be requiring of ios but it won't be available so it will be difficult so just go towards android learn a react native and uh, anyway you can go so it's completely your choice if you want to go towards ios uh, android and react native but what has like a more, more of a market and like how uh what like a major of a companies you are using it so major of companies like uh, they have like uh, ios development also android also and react native also all these three are being uh, there because some feature would be uh going like natively in uh, ios and uh, android specific and some feature would be going into hybrid because uh, it depends on a business requirement company to company and some companies like they have like uh react native many for developer and uh, ios and android like less developer so it's depend on company to company and like what like you are interested in so this is all about like uh, demand and uh, like supply of uh, developers in the market what about me like i know react native or not so i'd like uh, learn uh, basic of react native but uh, not like a widely using it in a day to day mostly uh, focusing on a specific towards uh, ios development later in future like if i require uh, i'll be learning uh, react native also uh, maybe like i have a few upcoming projects let's see if i am assigned into it or not and uh, that's it and if you are like uh, wanted to check out that what feature did i make in make my trip you can go and check it out that is a travel credit card in ios that was built by me and my one of our um, teammates so i like majorly of a contribution so you can go and check it out that's uh, amazing so this is all about like a video about the mobile application development and uh, do make sure that you follow me on uh, LinkedIn and connect on uh, Instagram also because they're like useful resource about the learning and development and everything would be shared and you will be missing out a lot more content. That's pretty much. See you in the upcoming video. What will be the upcoming video? Uh, make sure that you comment. But I have like my suggestions. Let's see what uh, suggestions have been there from you and we'll make an awesome video. That's it. See you in the next video. Till that time, keep chilling, keep exploring and keep learning. See you in the upcoming video.